Something larger than a single new electric vehicle model is taking shape right now. Beneath the usual noise we hear about range numbers, acceleration times, or even sleek designs, there is a much deeper story unfolding. The real breakthrough is not where most people look, it's not in the wheels, the motors, or even the software. The true revolution begins at the very heart of the machine, the battery. For over a decade, lithium-ion cells carried us through the first chapter of electrification. They made mass-market EVs possible and gave Tesla the ability to lead the industry into the future. Yet lithium also came with serious compromises, fire risk, gradual capacity fade, and supply chain pressures that ripple across the globe. These issues weren't minor inconveniences, they were structural weaknesses baked into the very chemistry of the battery. But Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion design is about to flip the script entirely. It starts a new chapter built not on trade-offs, but on safety that silences headlines, on endurance that outlives the car itself, and on a foundation of trust strong enough to finally put consumer anxiety to rest. The question for the next decade of EVs will no longer be, who builds the fastest sedan, or, which SUV has the longest range. Instead, the defining question becomes, who builds the battery families can trust, when the road turns blisteringly hot, dangerously cold, unexpectedly long, or brutally rough? That's the real contest. And in Tesla's case, the answer lies in the shift to aluminum. If you want straight, deeply researched coverage on this, stay with us. Tap subscribe, help push Westec toward 223,587 subscribers, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss the next deep dive. Now, let's open up this new battery pack, trace the flow of heat, and see why this new chemistry might finally spell the end of lithium-ion as we know it. The first and most important question people have is, how does Tesla's aluminum-ion battery eliminate fire risk once and for all? When we choose EVs, we choose them for clear reasons, a cleaner future, lower fuel costs, smart technology, and a more sustainable lifestyle. But with lithium, the trade-off has always been safety. Living in constant uncertainty, drivers knew that thermal runaway could happen without warning. The fear of a fire was always there in the background. Tesla's new design aims to erase that fear permanently. They are engineering a battery pack that doesn't even contain the flammable liquid electrolyte that plagues lithium-ion cells. With nothing to burn and nothing to ignite, the risk disappears at its root. The core material, pure aluminum, offers advantages that graphite, silicon, and carbonate in lithium batteries could never deliver. The biggest advantage is thermal resistance. Lithium-ion cells start running into danger once temperatures climb past 120 degrees Celsius. Push them harder, and they begin to spiral out of control. Aluminum, by contrast, remains stable even in the 200 to 250 degrees Celsius range. That's essentially doubling the safety window. But the real breakthrough isn't just temperature tolerance, it's architecture. Tesla is testing an aluminum cathode superstructure that moves away from the flat, closed design of conventional lithium cells. Instead, aluminum cathodes are built as a honeycomb lattice made up of thousands of microscopic hexagons. This three-dimensional geometry increases cathode surface area by a factor of five and spreads heat about 40 times faster than lithium. Aluminum doesn't just resist heat, it actively dissipates it, cooling itself in real time. Safety goes one step further with a nano-ceramic coating only half a micrometer thick, about 1 100th the width of a human hair. This thin layer smooths the cathode surface and allows aluminum ions to flow evenly across it. The benefit here is huge, no more bottlenecks of energy that create hot spots. Those hot spots are what often turn into catastrophic failures inside lithium batteries. This single structural upgrade wipes out the industry's worst nightmare, dendrites. These tiny, sharp spikes grow inside lithium ion cells, pier separators, and cause short circuits that ignite fires. In aluminum cells, dendrites simply don't appear. That means no heavy protective shells, no complex active cooling systems. The battery itself becomes the safety system. By cutting danger out at the root, Tesla ensures the ultimate benefit, peace of mind every time you hit the road. According to Tesla's crash simulations, the fire risk of aluminum ion batteries drops to just 0.05%. That means only 1 in 2,000 packs failed under extreme conditions, an improvement of roughly 50 times over lithium ion packs, which face about a 2.5% risk. Imagine what that means in real-world driving. Think of America's hottest regions, Arizona deserts, Death Valley in California, summer roads in Florida or Texas where air temperatures soar to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and the road surface can heat beyond 90 degrees Celsius. Lithium packs overheat under those conditions. Aluminum packs don't. Even after 12 to 14 hours of continuous driving, Tesla's aluminum-ion batteries remain under 60 degrees Celsius. 
No swelling, no sparks, no fire. Even in crash tests, the difference is staggering. Lithium packs exposed to friction or violent impact forces spike to 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, rupturing separators and leaking flammable electrolytes. Sparks fly, flames spread, and the worst-case scenario unfolds. With aluminum, even a catastrophic break only raises cells to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius, still within the safe zone. And because there's no flammable liquid, nothing ignites. A scenario that would have caused a full lithium fire becomes little more than a warm pack with no chain reaction. Tesla's design reduces post-crash fire risk to almost zero, roughly 40 to 80 times safer than today's lithium packs. The innovation doesn't stop at the chemical level. Tesla has also engineered safety at the pack level. Every micromodule is wrapped in an aerospace-grade barrier that blocks heat transfer and directs vented gas through dual-channel exhaust spines. If a cell vents, microfuses trip within 6 milliseconds, instantly cutting current in that section. Abuse tests, like nail penetration trials, saw local temps peak at only 88 degrees Celsius and drop below 60 degrees Celsius in 90 seconds, with no ignition in adjacent cells. Aluminum doesn't just prevent runaway, it stops it cold before it can spread. Tesla has also solved the problem of smoke inhalation. Because aluminum ion cells do not use carbonate solvents, vented gases aren't flammable or heavily toxic. In simulations, cabin air remained breathable, with smoke density and CO levels far below those seen in lithium-ion incidents. Passengers get crucial time to exit. Meanwhile, Tesla's crash detection logic automatically depowers the high-voltage loop in under 10 milliseconds, eliminating sparks that might otherwise ignite nearby materials. Combined with reinforced trays and puncture-resistant architecture, aluminum packs are built not only to survive accidents but to contain damage in a way that keeps drivers and families safe. But what about longevity? This is where aluminum ion makes another leap. Today's lithium packs in vehicles like the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y generally last about 300,000 to 500,000 miles before dropping to 80% capacity. Beyond that, degradation accelerates, often forcing replacement around 600,000 miles at best. By contrast, aluminum ion batteries rewrite these limits entirely. Tesla's new packs are projected to last for up to 3 million miles while retaining nearly 90% of their capacity. For the average American who drives 12,000 miles per year, that translates to nearly 200 years of use. In other words, the car will fall apart long before the battery does. Why does aluminum last so long? The answer lies in chemistry. Lithium-ion packs degrade because their carbonate electrolytes gradually evaporate and leave solid deposits on electrodes after each cycle. This creates resistance and reduces capacity. Aluminum ion batteries use a gel polymer electrolyte with a boiling point of 300 degrees Celsius. It doesn't evaporate, it doesn't form damaging deposits, and it remains stable even under extreme conditions. That stability also allows ultrafast charging. Where lithium can only handle 3-5C charging rates, aluminum ion can withstand 100C. That means charging to 80% in about 3 minutes, and 100% in under 5 minutes, without overheating or losing efficiency. The bigger picture is clear, this could be the real end of lithium. Safety and longevity are not just scientific wins, they reshape economics, insurance, logistics, regulations, and consumer behavior. Safer packs with almost no fire risk slash insurance premiums by up to 20%. Shipping costs fall because aluminum modules aren't classified as dangerous goods, unlike lithium packs that require special handling. Building codes relax, allowing more high-density charging stations in urban centers and underground garages. Recycling becomes easier, too, since over 97% of aluminum can be recovered efficiently, compared to 70-85% to of lithium. These ripple effects create a new reality, aluminum-ion batteries are not only safer and longer-lasting, they're cheaper to insure, ship, store, and recycle. They even open up new revenue streams, since they can handle daily vehicle-to-grid energy services without wearing out. Fleet operators, insurers, developers, and consumers will all gradually converge on the same conclusion. Internal models already suggest lithium-ion's market share could fall from more than 90% today to below 50% by 2030, with aluminum-ion taking over much of the new capacity. The era of lithium-ion doesn't end because of hype. It ends because Tesla and others have found a chemistry that removes fire risk, extends lifespan far beyond today's norms, and rewrites the entire cost structure of electrification. Safety is the foundation. Once safety is solved, everything else, insurance, logistics, building, codes, recycling, total cost of ownership, follows. That is how the lithium-ion era ends in practice, not just in theory. 
So, as we look toward Tesla's aluminum ion future, one thing is certain, this is not just an incremental update. This is the beginning of the end of lithium, and the start of a safer, cleaner, longer-lasting future for electric vehicles. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and let us know in the comments if you believe Tesla's aluminum battery will replace lithium for good. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next analysis.